Drones will fly over the crowds at the Caribbean festivities this year. The NYPD says it wants to keep people safe, but it's causing some privacy concerns as well. Eyewitness News reporter Tom Negevin is at Grand Army Plaza this morning. Tom. Everybody here excited about Juve, uh, Joe, and the NYPD says all it wants to do is use everything available to it to keep the public safe. That includes the latest technology, drones keeping an eye from above. But yes, that is raising some privacy concerns this morning. We're talking about a massive, colorful, popular cultural event that draws, in some cases in past years, two million people. So policing it, obviously a major challenge for the NYPD. PD, and there have been associated spikes in violent crime uh, in the last couple of years. So police really want to stay on top of that. And they say that is where the drones come in, the ability to respond to calls very rapidly and to keep an eye from above, allowing them, in fact, to walk resources back, to stand down if necessary, depending on what they see from the drone when they get a call. However, civil liberty groups, uh, privacy advocates, they see a problem with that. It's just, to me, absurd to think that the solution to you know, gun violence is having a Big Brother barbecue where the drone showing up uh, for uh, for dessert. Not down, flying in someone's backyard to see what they have on the grill. They're going to utilize the drone to determine should they send crisis management teams there right away to help mitigate the problem. We don't want police to be the same, the, the, the only response. And the mayor and the NYPD both say they're seeing the numbers and violent crime is dropping dramatically across the five boroughs. They plan to keep it that way, deploying every resource available to them to do that. They're deploying thousands of additional police officers over the course of the multiple day celebration this weekend into Monday, along with violence, interrupters, and of course, the drones too.